Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, the final countdown. We've got uh, Andre, round of 16 match, we've got Andre with Nurgle versus Total Frias with Chaos. Only 11 men for the Chaos, uh, 13 for the Nurgle, and obviously 9 regen. So a big advantage in the Bash game to the Nurgle. Found appearances obviously, so... Uh, and they've got to receive... What, what do the Chaos have? Not a lot. And they've got an actual board here. But, um, both sides have got two Clawpon, right? Clawpon Warrior, Clawpon Pestagore. Versus two Clawpon Beastmen. So, um, obviously going to pile on every time because Andre knows how to play Blood Bolt. And there you go. And then the Claw Mighty in addition to the two Claw Pommers. So yeah, both 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 sides have got the same kill power essentially. Bit exposed though. Bit exposed. I wonder if he should have hit from the other angle, right? So he could have protected him a bit more on the fourth down. And they've both got some guard and stuff as, as well. So really, Total Freeze's only advantage is this edge for Blood, which, you know, there's two tacklers. The dodge isn't that good. Certainly not as good as, uh... Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, no. Got a clop on him. <laughs> you got a clop on that guy. Clop on the beast, okay, fair enough, yeah. Clop on the beast is pretty cool. It's defenseless, isn't it? I'm quiet, I shouldn't be quiet. I've not changed any settings. That's disappointing if I'm quiet. There is nothing, uh. I mean, it, the settings haven't changed, so. But it doesn't look very loud on the thing. It actually doesn't look very loud. Can I, uh... is, this, is this turn me up? Is that turning me up? Is that, is that my... This might actually make me louder. I hope it does. Right, I'm, I'm, hopefully this is going to make me a bit louder. I've often thought I was too quiet when I've... Uh, when I've been uh, streaming. Hey, Kalon. Kalon knows nothing about sound, of course. He knows a lot about talking, not so much about hearing. <laughs> anyway, two remove, two KOs and a Kaz already for Andre. And, uh, so, you know, losing the... Uh, Losing the ting isn't so bad. Oh, losing a warrior is really bad. And no regen as well, because you've seen the replay. And it was the claw on it. Oh my god. Brutal. Dodges out. This puts a reroll in the dodge out as well. Oh my god, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Can foul this guy now. Probably get a big gang foul on him. Oh, the stand firm helps. <laughs> it's like he's playing Necro when he is. Hello, Samich. Bang, bang, bang. Ball nowhere to be seen. Classic Andrew. Now but a greedy banger. <laughs> As somebody famously said. <laughs> Only one assist on the foul here. Pretty shit. Goes for it anyway. 
Oh dear. It's funny because you don't want to pile on, right? Because you want you want the assist on the foul, but then if you if you don't pile on, he just stands up and blitzes blitzes him anyway, right? Because he's got guard as well, so you can't even not pile because you're just not asking him to call up on the other call Is he going to come through here, put a bit of pressure on? This edge four should come through, right? Because, no, it wasn't the tackle claw pommel. Where's the tackle claw pommel? Tackle claw pommel's down. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like, I like going for the edge four move. I like this, so I do. I mean, yeah, obviously, if you snake the file, it doesn't matter, but you know. Can't do results based analysis, can you? Doesn't power his blodger? But that stops him beating the corpum anyway, so it's, you know, it's already achieved something, hasn't it? Another reroll on a corpum dodge. Classic Chaos vs Nurgle claw pom mirror match. <laughs> Rerolls going to running away after claw after claw pomming. <laughs> oh god. High skill, high skill blood ball for sure. Is he hitting the ball? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. He should have been claw pomming things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's fair enough. He's, he's down a lot of players, so... So he is. Oh my god, double ugly. Double ugly. Absolutely brutal. I think he did the wrong ordering though, I think the other the other war uh claw bomb should have blocked to try and feed the other one to get more players around. Rook pals is blodger. Diced. No armor break though. Oh but there is a DP. Perfectly ready to foul him. Perfectly situated. Does nothing. You'll do nothing. He hasn't got many players at all left. Can't get a 2D on the ball. Is it worth dodging for a 1D? Maybe. Honestly. No, claw palms instead. Nope. Another ugly. Three uglies in a row for claw palm hits. That is a brutal. Absolutely brutal. Foul appearance worth its weight in gold this match. Maybe should have rerolled that. Or maybe just should have stayed down. Mm. There's a bit of a gaping hole now. The old gaping hole. Huge, that's better than going through the middle now. No, getting to go down that. Through that gap. Oh. Not even through the gap, just into the gap.
piles on there. <laughs> Love to see it. And then tags with him. Well, I wonder who he will blitz now. Ah, okay. Oh no, you got to tag him. You got to tag his. Uh, go to tag his claw pommer. You probably need to not foul there, and then tag the claw pommer. And then you've got the claw pommer here. You've got him tagged. And like you know, I was a bit of a shit down there. I think an actual bad pile on. Like the only time not pile on is when it loses you the game. That is maybe a losing the game pile on there. He's got a fall through you. Wee! Dice on a GFI! to this warrior. Lovely hurt. Mighty blow tackle as well. Huge for like later rounds if Andre wins this. Gets the four tree. Gets the power. Gets the AV break. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. You've got a GFI again, haven't you? And pick it up. I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got a scoring threat. Yeah, he did, did really well, didn't he? Downloads of players. You know, he used the only advantage he had, which was that blood judge for. A bit more movement um, on the things. Oh my god, we're going for the warrior play. Oh my god, warrior hero play. Oh my god, dodge gets him the dodge away. Okay. <laughs> that would have been an amazing, <laughs> amazing touchdown. <laughs> It would have been really fucking stupid, but it would have been really funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, only recently, Demand. Yeah, only if it takes you like seven years to make. Oh, leak. Man, I fucking hate. <laughs> Thanks for instantly getting me depressed about Blood Bowl Freedom. And uh, I wish I could. I wish I could play it. I wish I could even watch it. I don't even watch Twitch anymore now. <laughs> I'll sometimes put Elliot or Rick on to listen to them. But... Sad, isn't it? Sad. Yeah, I've done this for fucking... Being partnered for six years, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Been streaming for seven and a half, nearly eight years. It's just all dead. Now, the worst thing is I knew this 20 months ago, you know. I knew 20 months ago. And nothing's fucking changed. Well, probably like 22 months ago now or something. Maybe he's 24, maybe he's just two years ago. That first beta was just... You know, all those decisions were locked in, they weren't, they weren't gonna change. Who cares about, like, the fucking, you know, ranking system and everything? It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant if your game is that ugly and that unplayable. 
Couldn't give two fucks about the ranking system. Wish I could. Man, this foul appearance has been on point for Andy a bit. Holy shit. Can't wait to see the uh, stats at the end. So what's this? Is about like 8 versus 10. Needed a good LOS really, didn't get it. Yeah, 8 versus 10. I mean, it could have easily evened up, right? And, and would have been on for 1-0. But now, uh, with no removals, all of a sudden, if Andre can get a bit of luck, he can uh, get an insurmountable field advantage. No, oh, this is nice, isn't it? Really nice. See, this is this is the opposite of Mr. Page. This is Andre being a good banger by actually chaining in extra hits, which I've like literally never seen Mr. Pitch do. I've just seen him roll well. <laughs> Oi! And Andrew's reward for playing well is a stun beast and a turnover. <laughs> nice chain, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit chain shop. And he exposes his core pommel. And then he gets to chain, look, Total Freeze gets to chain his player out. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay, well, he should have done. Okay, so what it, what I believe he should have done here was stay there, push him to there, push him out, right? And then hit him again, rather than this. I don't like this, what he's done here. Yeah, I didn't like that. I think he had to get less, it's not more, right? I think the chain had to be off and, and have less contact. I mean, he's really desperate now, right? Six players this turn. He had to he had to extricate himself from what he was in that turn. And, uh, you know, especially after that stun, like that gave him some ample breathing room and now he's just got himself into a bigger, a bigger rook. <laughs> Put chaining into a core bomb hit. Beautiful. The beautiful cars. Oh. Nothing. Oh, and there's a dirty player right there. And funnily enough, coming from that, I mean, he's still foul here with a two assist, probably. No, he doesn't. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. If that had been a power, he'd definitely assist with three. Does he just assist with one? Flip me. Oh, well, there you go. Doesn't matter if you roll a ten. <laughs> so there you go, you know, like... That that turn there from Dota 3 has really fucked him, right? That, that chaining him in there, like, trying to get those hits. It, it really, really screwed him. Well, like, I think he just had to like try and get it done right. He just had to score at any point. Like, I know he's done well defending the score and being going in at nil nil, but like, he was six versus ten. He had to, he had to regroup and then just hope he can score at any point right in the half. Like, he doesn't need to stall this out to turn eight. If he can just get, it. he's already stopped the score once, right? If he can just get the scoring at any point. Maybe he's get players back. I do think he made a bit of a bit of a boo boo there. I mean, obviously, he could have paid off, right? Getting extra hits there. Like, if he gets the extra hits, he can get more removals and stuff. So, like, there was a chance of it being there, but um, you know, like, there's two ways. Look at you know, you know, you can say I'm wrong and he did the right play to try and maximize hits and. But I felt like that turn and being so outnumbered with the two stones, but disengaging as much as possible is. I like my own. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's brutal being in the same place, of course it is, yeah. He, he needed some removal of the OS and didn't get on. Needs any removals really. Still still ten versus like seven now.
But I just don't think like maximizing banging is the way you get this done. I think he has to he has to be the elf, doesn't he? You know, like uh, they've got a bit of elfiness to them things. Well it doesn't re-roll that, you've only got four. I mean you've got four re-rolls and you don't re-roll that. You've got to re-roll that, mate. You've got to re-roll that. Like okay, you might think that you get you go into overtime, but first of all you've got to get there. And second of all, um, you know, I would have rather just dodged this one off maybe and come up here, blitzed him, something like that. Three, four, five, right, and then blitz here. Get people moving, get people out and moving. You have to prioritise having players active downfield that can do something. Oh, backfield and pretty ball, but something. You need players. <laughs> you need players standing up. So not not re-rolling that is. Uh, Good. Yeah, it's so dire. It's so diabolical. He seems to have got away with it apart from this foul. And this foul is definitely happening. No, yeah, this is definitely a chucking all of your rerolls to get to all the time situation. 100%. Oh, he does have two babes, so he was, he was really unlucky to not Another KO. So while he may be confident of getting all these three back for overtime, yeah, he's still going to get there. I like this though, the Warrior Blitz. Blitz and Potato is pretty much all he has. <laughs> he's got no players, I mean, this is absolutely fucked. Three plus half. All right. Well, now he can put. No! Now you have to put the reroll in. Oh, you have to put the reroll in there. He has to. Wow. Saving your rerolls for overtime here it seems. Either incredibly greedy or like, you know, so to be fair, there's the greed part of it isn't like idiotic greed, is it? The greed part of it is, look, if I spend all of my rerolls to get to overtime, I won't win overtime. So the way I win this game is by, oh my god, hanging in here, not using any rerolls, getting lucky to get to overtime, and then in overtime I've got my rerolls, right? So I. It's giving you less odds to get to overtime, but then better odds if you get to overtime. And you know, so you could you could argue it's not even wrong, it just seems wrong, doesn't it? Big apple there, huge, huge working apple. If he can get to overtime. Which to be fair, Andre isn't pressuring him too much. No. He didn't need to, and he's just got and he's got no players left. <laughs> <laughs> is the uh, is the minor inconvenience? No tackle though on this hit. And he doesn't put in the way rolls. Yeah, I like that. It gets me up here. Could even put him there, right? Could even put him there because at the moment, I mean, he can't get that. Right. He can't get that anymore. Maybe this guy could. One, two, three, four, five, five. I still just think like here was better for him. Or maybe even here, right? So you're sandwiching him in. So like maybe he's here. So you're trapping him. Ah, he's gonna trap him with this. I think one back is better. Then it stops him dodging out here. Indeed, exactly where he dodges to. So, I do like I do prefer. Well, oh, now the tackler is in position for the last turn. No scoring threat for Toto for you, so everybody can come forward and try and squeeze him a bit harder. 
Yeah, maybe also he could just be for forward. I guess the show hands like you can kind of cage the show hands. I think you've got to stand up the show hands first. I really like putting the show hands here. Oh, I got so lucky! He got so lucky with that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't expect to get that lucky on the. Uh, You've got to reroll this now, obviously. Okay, well, dodge out for 2D. though right I mean if you no no yeah yeah one two three so if, you, if you're gonna do this play then you can do one two three four and get the assist and then blitz in 3d which has got to be better hasn't it I think making this 2d for all the time is fine oh he's just gonna score with him one two three oh yeah yeah okay yeah because then you've got a team reroll okay no this is better this is better this is better because then it's just one free plus to Never mind. In my defence, this is 7am. First thing in the morning, my brain wasn't quite in gear. <laughs> there you go. Great play by Andy. He does the right thing. And uh, you know, obviously, had upload to men. It was re total free. did great the first half getting the stop. Um, second half just didn't have the players and then that one turn I think just cost him uh, just cost him too much um, well wow, look at the fo the foul appearance five ones in nine blocks on warriors <laughs> oh, Christ <laughs> that's unbelievable um, yeah that's that, that real shame for total freeze then another another day you could have easily won that but I think he needed to put in rerolls in, in the second half and you know, maybe he's played that one turn a little bit differently. But uh, great effort for him. Commiserations to him. Congratulations to Andre. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.